While only nationals of Trinidad and Tobago can become the next police commissioner, the process to appoint the top cop and his deputies kicked off on Monday. Attorneys and members of the Police Service Commission spoke with CNews and gave a breakdown of the process of selecting the police commissioner. Here's Mary Therese Bernard. As the search for a new commissioner of police kicked off on Monday, attorney at law Martin George says there's nothing easy about this process. It is easier in this country to appoint a chief justice, a prime minister, a president. It's easier to appoint to any of those offices than it is to appoint a commissioner of police because it's been years now that this process has been in play We've had several court actions, you know, we've had delays. It appears that we, we place much more emphasis on the rigor of this process than we do for any other office in Trinidad and Tobago. However, the procedures being guided by the law and a firm authorized to assist them in their recruiting work is on board. The entire process is said to be rigorous in order to capture the most appropriate candidate. We have several layers to our vetting process. We have security vetting, we have a medical health and fitness vetting, then we also have psychometric testing, we are also going to be using assessment centers. So it's a multi-layered system whereby you end up screening and screening and screening until you end up with a shortlist of the best possible candidates. The Police Service Commission remains in direct control of the recruitment of a top cop and Mr. George says that according to the law, only a native of Trinidad and Tobago can apply. If you look at the current legislation, the person must be a national of Trinidad and Tobago. You could be resident abroad, so in other words, you could be a foreign-based national and you can apply. But we have limited it now in the sense that we are looking for nationals of Trinidad and Tobago. A time frame has been worked out but could be disrupted by the number of applicants for the post. Mr. George makes it clear the PSC will not sacrifice due diligence on the altar of expediency. Mary Therese Bernard, CNews.